Greetings, jazz aficionados. Loves of the craft would like to call modern music. That's what Charlie Parker liked to call it. I am back again, and I have a tough talk topic for the day. And here it is. Here's the tough talk topic. Don't hold other people back. Often, some of my students, they come to me and they say, well, your tough talk uh, for the day, was that about me? <laughs> And um, my student, if you have been keeping up with my YouTube channel, you know um, I have a student that has been taking trombone lessons from me, and he is a very, very, very good student. And uh, we had a lesson uh, yesterday, and it inspired me, number one, to be a better player, and then number two, uh, to create new challenges uh, for him because he's reached at the level the where he's really getting good. So this tough talk is really focused on the teachers and not so much the students. So this tough talk is, is related to teachers and not students. Now all of the tough talks I made was not only for the students, could also make application uh, in the teaching profession, but this one in particular is dealing with the teacher and not holding them back. Uh, my student, Mitchell Lowry, he came uh, to our lesson yesterday and just nailed the uh, first part of all region material. And it was, it was pretty impressive. So I'm not surprised because he's been working a lot and uh, he's been growing as a musician. But that said to me, aha, I can't hold, <laughs> I can't hold these, uh, my students back. I have got to create new challenges for him. And that's the thing. That's what this is all about. Don't hold your students back. I've had teachers or read about teachers refusing to go over a topic because maybe they couldn't do it or maybe for some reason or another uh, they wanted to hold them back. And I don't think teachers do this purposely, but sometimes when we get a gifted student, a lot of times we, we don't know what we should do with them you know they're they're going through our material so quickly and um, you know we have to make a paradigm shift and say you know what yes he or she is going through this material quickly and so I'm gonna have to adapt my teaching so that uh, you know they can grow I'm not gonna hold the student back and there's gonna come a, a, a time where I will I will probably say I've taught you just about as much as I can teach you, and now I'm going to refer you to uh, this teacher, this this person, who uh, can can challenge you to even greater heights. So it's hard, especially if you make your living on the uh, the student's tuition, <laughs> and that student has grown to the point that where they know everything you know and you got to provide new challenges uh, for them. Now, uh, Mitchell, if you're watching this, I'm not saying that I don't have anything else left to teach you because I do. I have a whole slew of things that we had not even talked about and we have not even got into. You kind of got a taste of it yesterday. Uh, yesterday, here's an example. In our lesson, he was able to come in with the jazz all region music, pretty much the first page of the etude, played it down, almost perfect. We had to work some sections, but um, on the whole, he came in just like super prepared. And I didn't teach him that. He sight read it and, and worked it up. But I kind of flipped the script on him and gave him a challenge, and we began to, to focus on jazz theory. And I started talking to him about uh, learning the, the chord nomenclature and what it means. And, and, and we talked about voice leading and, and how, to, uh, you know, how to improvise a coherent solo 
uh, using chord tones. And, and that's an example of providing a challenge and not holding uh, the students back. Now, I, I was holding a trombone, and I'm a better improviser on the saxophone, but, and I told them that. I said, look, I'm, I'm a better improviser on the, on the saxophone, uh, but this is what I want. And he was able to do it and realize he got some practice to do. So the point in what I'm saying is don't hold your students back. Provide a new challenge for them. If you have a gifted student, like I have a gifted student, he has perfect pitch. Uh, you know, uh, he's, he's just growing as a musician. You have got to adapt your lesson to give that student a challenge so that you are not holding him or her back. You want them to progress. And if it is at the point where you have taught them everything they need to know, then, you know, uh, refer them to the type of teacher or another teacher that can help them. And, and we will probably get it at that point where I have to tell them, you know, you may have to study with, with Professor A at the university, or you may have to study with this uh, performing, this, this performer and uh, to grow as a musician, because that's what it's all about, about growth. And that's my tough talk. Don't hold the student back, um, you know, create a challenge for uh, your students so that they can continue to grow. Don't be prideful and, and, and say, well, I'm just gonna continue doing what, I, what I'm doing. I wanna keep them as my student, no. Uh, if, if you don't have any more things to teach them, let them go on. But if you do have more that you want them to learn, then you can continue uh, teaching them that, teaching them the challenging uh, part of, of your discipline. So that's my tough talk for the day. Uh, do not hold students back. If you have a student that is gifted, you know, give them information so that they can grow. All right? Y'all have a good day wherever you are in the world. Thank you so much. Bye.